What is going on, aliens? So I just wanted to remind you that registration for my four-day masterclass where I'll be revealing my three-step process that helped me burn belly fat and build lean muscle mass on command is still open for registration. It's going to begin November 26th, so this coming Monday. After getting hundreds of messages literally every single day asking me, Mike, how do I lose my stubborn belly fat? Mike, how do I put on lean muscle mass without putting on too much fat in the process? I decided I really want to do something special for you guys. In less than the first 24 hours, over 700 people around the world signed up for the masterclass, guys. I am so freaking pumped. <laughs> so click the link in the first pinned comment or the description to get signed up immediately and secure your spot. If you guys follow the exact process that I'll be sharing in this series, I can ensure that you'll unlock that physique you've always dreamed of having, whether it's losing that stubborn belly fat and finally getting those abs to show, or building that lean muscle mass that's been really hard for you to grow because maybe you're a hard gainer or whatever your reason may be. So I'll be revealing top tips and processes that are gonna optimally get you to where you wanna be. Once you sign up, you'll get exclusive access to my origin story that's never been shared before on YouTube. It's about my past, and honestly, I've just been afraid of sharing this story with you guys because I've had a lot happen to me in my past, and it's kind of a sensitive subject, but I promise you guys I'll always be real with you, so it's about time I share my story. So one more time, guys, click the link in the description or the first pinned comment to sign up and secure your spot for my masterclass. It's completely free, guys, and when you sign up, you'll get some extra bonuses as well. I'm not asking for any money from you guys. I just know when I first started off, I wish I had all this information, so I want to be able to help as many of you as possible. Fitness truly saved my life, and I hope I can share that passion with you as well. Let's get into this video. My go time. All right, aliens, we're about to get our week three analysis using a 3D body scan. So we're getting our body fat, our weight, and our muscle mass measured. Every week we're taking our new analysis, comparing it to the week before, and seeing all the progression throughout this entire process. And then after this 3D body scan, we'll go get our biological impedance scale and the body fat arm rod analyzer, as well as the tape measure to get the rest of the measurements. Let's get into it. Get in thick, boy. <sighs> For real. Thickness is coming. 192.2. Prime. Damn, looking cut. Starting to feel more and more cut, bro. 199.5. to go over our results from week two to week three. Now these results are actually pretty crazy, so stay tuned. My weight shockingly went up 0.6 pounds, even though I've been in a deficit. My body fat though went down 1.49%. Then my chest went up 1.25 inches. My waist went down 0.18 inches. My hip ratio went down 0.155 inches. My right bicep went down 0.18 inches. My left bicep went up 0.05 inches. My right forearm went down 0.05 inches. And my left forearm went down 0.055 inches. My right thigh went up 0.25 inches. My left thigh went down, weirdly, 0.975 inches. My right calf went up 0.35 inches, and my left calf went up 0.4 inches. And remember guys, all these muscle mass measurements are done unflexed, and we're using a bunch of different analysis to get all of our measurements for body fat. We're using the 3D body scan, the bioelectrical impedance scale, and the arm -ROM body fat analyzer. So three different types of body fat analysis, and then the 3D body scan, as well as the bioelectrical impedance scale for weight measurements, and then the 3D body scan and tape measure for all muscle mass measurements. All right, so let's see. So my weight from week two to three went up 1.8 pounds. My body fat went down by 0.36%. My chest grew a lot by 2.45 inches. My waist grew by 0.07 inches. My hip grew by 
0.45 inches, I've actually had to loosen my lifting belt by an entire notch. <laughs> I, had to, I was in the middle of squatting last week and I had to go up to the front desk and ask for a screwdriver to loosen my belt. So uh, that's kind of embarrassing. But means the bulk's working, means it's going well. My right bicep increased by 0.095 inches, my left bicep by 0.2 inches, my right forearm by 0.15 inches, my left forearm actually went down by 0.13 inches, my right thigh went down by 0.1 inches, my left thigh went down by 0.2 inches, my right calf went down by 0.18 inches, my left calf went up by 0.42 inches. I mean, it sounds like there could be some like muscle imbalances actually getting worked out since we're working on this new style of training. This is one of the main reasons this series is gonna be completely transparent, because these results this week, they were actually really weird. We looked Very at them weird. and we were like, what the fuck? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm in a deficit and my weight went up and my body fat shot down over a percent body fat in just this week's time span. We're doing our best to get the most accurate and consistent measurements. That seems a little excessive, so I'm not exactly sure what went on there. Maybe it is due to the new programming I'm doing and my muscles adapting and the Tabata cardio and abs I'm doing all kind of working together. I can't really give an exact reasoning as to why this is happening, but this is why we're showing you our entire process. Cause same for you. Yeah, I mean, it'll be, unique to see kind of like the trend over the weeks when we see kind of how things have shifted up and down because like one of the things that really threw me off was our leg measurements that we took. My leg size went down but like you know, looking at myself in the mirror I feel like I, I'm seeing growth. I'm getting a lot stronger in legs so I'm wondering what that could be. Maybe I'm losing some fat in my legs getting some muscle. It's yeah. it's interesting to see. It's saying that my body fat went down by 0.3%. Now that's not a lot. And your weight went up though. <laughs> and my, my weight went up so technically it should be going up so that's kind of interesting too. Again yeah. that could be the new style of training we're doing. We do work out for like multiple hours a day. <laughs> three hour sessions, six days a week, minimum. <laughs> this week's analysis, both our body fats were a lot lower on the 3D body scan. So maybe our whole body composition is changing, which is resulting in mm -hmm. the scanner kind of reading the measurements differently. One of the things that the folks over at Jim had mentioned to us was the fact that the scanner uses some sort of ratio of your body measurements to sort of determine body fat that way. And so, you know, if I'm gaining an inch and a half or whatever on my chest, two inches, and then even if my waist is growing a little bit, getting a little bit of body fat there, that'll definitely throw off the measurements that they do. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And another point, last week I was saying how my coach didn't program in calves, so I was noticing kind of a decrease in inches on my calves. This week I started training my calves again, and the measurements showed that my calves actually increased, and then it's actually the same principle now with my forms. My coach didn't program forms, so I've been not slacking, I just haven't really been doing forms as much because they aren't programmed into my specific mm -hmm. splits, and I noticed some decreases on my forms this week, so it looks like I'm going to have to add on some extra forearm work as well now. Yeah, there's definitely some things that I want to like maybe tweak here and there. I mean, I'm a little bit ectomorphic. I have a hard time growing my arms and my arm size hasn't really gone up as much as I've wanted throughout the bulk thus far. So I might try to work in a little bit more tricep work, a little bit more bicep work on some days. This programming we're doing right now, my coach has honestly programmed the least amount of arm training volume that I've ever done. Yeah. We hit triceps every other day, but it's only like one or two exercises. exercises. And normally I'm used to hitting triceps twice a week with five to seven exercises yeah. each time. So it's really different. And then biceps is actually the same principle every other day. One to two exercises where again I'm used to training my biceps really hard mm -hmm. twice a week for five to seven exercises yeah. getting a total volume so it is very different in that aspect I'm sticking very strict to my powerlifting plan Alu's kind of going a little off to more hypertrophy style and his own little kind of styles I just yeah. focusing on more of the technical strength or you're focused more on that raw strength and building yeah. the size I definitely like to stick to a lot of the sets and rep schemes that you do for the compounds it's definitely given me a lot of improvement in strength so far I know it's working but adding the hypertrophy I think is something that'll benefit me personally for the way my body responds to high volume and just the way that my body likes to grow. And also you have to keep in mind our weight measurements were definitely odd this week but weight fluctuates like crazy and we're taking these measurements fasted on Monday mornings every single time so it is in the same state but what we ate the previous day or even the day before or how much water we drank the day before that does play a factor in the weight fluctuation the next day so that could be another contributing factor to the kind of strange yeah. results. Yeah there's a lot of variables ultimately you're going to be looking at the long term trend Every yeah. week we're gonna see some some suspicious numbers here and there, but I think in the end the the long term trend is gonna look really appealing and and probably be exactly what we expect. Absolutely. Now I'm changing around how I'm gonna be training abs, and he's gonna share his process of how he's doing his abs on his bulk. So let's go to the gym and check out what we're doing. All right. So for my ab routine during the bulk, I'm trying to build big, strong, blocky abs. I'm doing all weighted ab exercises every day. Generally, I'll pick like three weighted ab routines. I usually just do three to four sets of 10 to 15 reps. And I just try to target like each separate area. First exercise I'm doing is landmine 180s. That takes a lot of oblique work. 
do twisting. I'll show you how it looks. Every 10 reps, I'll probably do two more sets of that. So for my app training, the first two weeks, I was doing a Tabata style at the end of my workouts for three sets. So that's 12 minutes total, four minute circuits. Now Tabata is 20 seconds of activity followed by 10 seconds of rest repeated until you hit that four minutes for that first set. Then you repeat that for two more sets. I was doing it with cardio, combining the abs. So I was doing cardio exercises, superset it with an ab grouping. Every day I'd be switching up the ab grouping. So say Monday I was doing upper abs, Tuesday I was doing lower abs, and then Wednesday I was doing obliques, and then I'd switch it back up and repeat that process. So this third week I'm switching it up. I'm doing one stability exercise, one weighted exercise, and then I'm gonna end it up with three straight minutes of ab works for high repetition work. Today I'm gonna be doing obliques, and I'll show you what I do for a typical oblique day. First exercise I like to do is a stability type hold where I'm working on really just squeezing and embracing my core as much as possible. I'm gonna be doing hanging windshield wipers to start it off. Three sets of eight repetitions each side. Two more sets of that, then I'll go on to my weighted exercise. So just hit obliques, now I'm hitting upper abs with the cable crunch. I like to use the straight bar here because I can kind of use my elbows to guide the motion nice and tight. I'm doing four sets of 12 here. So just three more sets of that. So after that stability exercise, I'll get into a weighted exercise where I'll be doing side oblique push downs. I'll be doing four sets of 12 repetitions. I really like hitting it from this higher angle rather than coming from the bottom. It really changes up the resistance and you feel completely different in your oblique than the normal side bend you see people do. Give this one a try. All right, so lastly, I'm just gonna hit my lower abs now that I've hit obliques and upper abs. I like to do hang knee raises with the dumbbell. I'm using a 15 right now. I'm gonna try to get 15 reps for three by 15. So that just shows you kind of an average day of doing weighted ab exercises post-workout. Today I hit obliques, then upper, then lower abs. I like to kind of switch it up every time so that different areas are fatigued earlier on throughout the ab routine. I also like to mix up the exercises day by day. So after that stability and weighted exercise, then I'll get into a three exercise circuit where I'll be doing a minute each exercise with zero rest in between. We really focus on that high rep ab work for that sculpting purposes. I always use my app X Surprise to find my exercises. The database is huge with hundreds of exercises in there. So if you need new ideas, guys, go check out my app, free download in the app and Play Store. Let me show you the three exercises I generated today. Start with bikes, then go to the penguins, then into side suitcases. For those exercises, the point is to do as many reps as possible in that minute time frame. You don't have a desired set or rep range, it's just to get as many reps as possible in that minute because there's no rest in between. Push your limits, guys, because you got no limits. So as Ailey works on building, thickening the overall development of his abs during his bulk, I'm also working on building, expanding, and thickening the blocks of my abs during my cut, but I'm also doing high rep ab work to work on the definition and sculpting of the abs. So when I lose that total body fat, they're also going to have that foundation as well as the detail, so they're really going to be popping. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me guys and click that notification bell right next to subscribe so you never miss a new video upload from me. And remember, click the link in the description or the first pinned comment to sign up for my free masterclass where I'll be revealing my three step process to help me burn stubborn belly fat and also being able to build lean muscle mass on command. If you even implement just one of the secrets that I'm going to share with you in this masterclass, I guarantee you'll get results that you've never had before. And also, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a free training like this again in the future, so don't waste the opportunity guys and sign up right now. It is completely free. I will see you aliens in the next video. Peace. Yeah, but we got power. That's just rapping.